What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another Transformers Legends series review, and this is on LG 53 Broadside. This is a triple bot, as you can see here I'm in the packaging. It does come with Repugnus. It's got the little headmaster for Broadside right there. Let's get that in focus for you. Boom. And, uh, yeah, so got the little head on the feature up there Transformers Legends LG 53. Back of the packaging, shows him in jet mode, in aircraft carrier mode. It does come with the jets, it looks like. And uh, you got Repugnus up there, as well as the kind of schematic uh, art in the background there. Well, not schematic, but the card art in the background shows that it has a cartoon in it, or a comic. Shows that it transforms. One side shows the art there, in full. And the other side shows this half schematic with different gimmicks and stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. All right, so he does come with a little booklet there. You can see the Japanese writing for his bio going down. It shows the different modes for Repugnus and the different modes as well as his tech specs. Strength is his 8, intelligence 8, speed is an... Oh, uh, yep, speed is a 9, endurance is an 8, rank is a... Five and a half, I guess. And Courage is a eight. Fire Blast is a seven. Skill is a seven. The cover is cool art there. Full picture. Shows him holding Repugnus as a gun. Shows Prodside as his headmaster flying around in him. Autobot LG 53. Checking out the comic. Shows it's got Nemesis Prime back there. Except for that's like the combiner version of him. Looks like he's grabbing Superion's head. That's pretty cool. You can see Optimus down here. There's Megatron. And Broadside pops in, jumps down. Look, that's the Headmaster version of him. And it looks like he's huge. Like, just even the head, head of him is bigger than Optimus. That's so kind of neat. There's the planes. The that's the jets that they do come with. There's the jets. You get the Superion as the aerial bots. I'll show you more of those in a little bit. He transforms into his jet mode. Horrible looking jet mode. And then the big head. Headmaster transforms. and becomes this gigantic head for this gigantic broadside. Firing some blasters. Look, there's tracks, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe those are just triple changers. Those are triple changers. My bad. And continuing on. Looks like there we got, uh, looks like Thrust from the Marley Universe. Yep, that's Thrust. There's one of the Fimbot Decepticons. Yep. There's Shockwave. Coming down, we have Trypticon. He's even bigger than Trypticon by the looks of it. And there's Metroplex on the ground. Pretty cool. Got Repugnus, a little action from him. He's flying in on Repugnus. Which is strange because I thought Repugnus was a Decepticon, but... And there you go, and there's the finish of the webcomic. So in the package we get this gigantic gun. So... Take a look at that really quickly. And of course, it's got the whole feature where you can take that little peg in the back of his leg, and stick it on there like that. Go in there like that. Well, it doesn't stick in as good as some, but it does hold for sideways poses and whatnot. And you get a little ship kind of action there. You get him himself. This is broadside. Let's get red painted legs as well as red plastic for his thighs blue eyes and a little bit of gray painted on his chest there and of course you can fold him down into the broadside type head looks pretty good nice blue for the visor and it's painted in fully this nice gray I guess dull gray like matte gray and there's this aircraft carrier mode 
this is the cool part of the whole thing or the coolest vehicle at least but it's got all these little ports so you can put headmasters in and we'll show you got a few of them so you can have line them up it's got two there and one over here two here two more here so quite a bit it's even got bigger tabs that might work for something else then it's got one back here as well as it's got this thing right here and I believe this turns into a yeah let's get this right here um, I believe this goes up yeah like this um, well I'll have to figure it out but basically something like that <laughs> pretty cool but look, it's all in paint. It's, none of this is stickers. And that's the coolest part. You can see the Autobot symbol there. Nicely done. And then Repugnus. Repugnus is just a small little bot. Got articulated legs here and articulated arms. And his head will move up and down on this hinge right there. It's kind of cheap hinge. But it does hold. Some nice green paint for the eyes, as well as this gloss brown for his head. And then he's got that tampoed Autobot symbol on there. Painted on really nicely. He's got gold painted on for the mandibles. His ar upper arms are painted white, and then he's got gold for his toes as well down here. And then yellow plastic and red plastic. So... It looks like he's got two little pegs down there that you can actually peg into the air. I'm not sure if that'll work or not. Let's check it out. Um, uh, no, I don't. I don't know why they're even molded like that. But the thing you can do with him is you flip him upside down, like this, and rotate these to the back, and then you have a jet. And if you look down there, there's two pegs. You use those two holes and peg him in. Kind of do something like this, probably. And then you can peg them together like that. And now you have a flying... Flying Autobot in a Refugnus jet-like body. <laughs> of course, you can put his arms up and make it look a little bit more real, but... Pretty cool, nonetheless. Here's what the aerial bots look like. So you got them all right here there's silver bolt um where's air raid that's air raid probably these are the two small ones and that's skyjack or whatever they're calling them all right so transformation i guess first we'll just take a quick look one last look at the aircraft carrier mode and it does look good you got white paint stripes going up here it's all in this nice gray plastic Autobot symbol tempo there of white. Get the lines molding. Get little dots molded on. That looks good. And they can run away. Pretty cool. So to transform it, pretty simple. You just flip this part down. Flip these parts down. Like this and like that. We're going to transform it into jet first. You want to flip this part up. And you want to take these. These already because I just flipped it around. But these are out like this. You want to flip those down like this. You want to separate it here and rotate it. Oh, you want to rotate these out for now, just to get them out of the way, kind of. Um, oh, right, this part goes down underneath, and this folds, and then that'll allow you to rotate. You take this part, I feel like, oh, yeah, right, like this, and you rotate it 90 degrees in, bend up, and then there's a little kind of a divot. You put that, lock that in there like that. Take this and bend it on double hinge underneath. There's a peg right there that goes into a slot right there. Like that. Same thing with this side. Rotate it 90 so the hollowness is in the inside. Tilt this up. Pull these painted red wings out. Lock in there that little divot like that. Fold this down. Rotate this down underneath where this peg right there goes into that slot. 
just like that. Then you'll have something that looks like this. You want to take these and extend them out on this hinge and back. And then this will now be like that. Extend hinge back. And you have this pretty cool looking jet. A lot better than the American one. At least they get some paint on it. It's not the greatest, obviously, because it's, you know, whatever this is. But what, what's really cool is you do have an opening cockpit that you can take broadside in his... Uh, headmaster mode and we can flatten them out a little bit and we can stick them in here like so and there you go now he's flying his own jet you can always mess with that if you want but it's supposed to stay down like that it does have pegs here as well as each on the wing as well as two uh, two more on each wing so you can ride Cybertronians in style if you'd like there's nowhere really to peg this on that I found because there's a peg, but there's no, I mean, I suppose you could do that, but it's not going to stick. So it, it's probably just like that, but yeah, pretty cool. I mean, that's what it looks like from the bottom. You have these, those only extend out that far. You have paint here on the wings, nice painted red front kind of reminds me of how Jetfire was in 1985 or 84 was it and then uh Autobot symbol tampoed on there got this clear translucent blue as well as back here with this Autobot symbol tampoed there red paint here as well as this is red plastic red paint up in here you can see the tail wings and stabilizers you got some yellow here but all in all, not too bad. Red paint up on the sides there. You can see some different moldings and whatnot. That's what it looks like from the back. Not too bad. Not too, too bad. And then to transform it to jet mode, you just flip this part down onto his back, like so. You want to open up this guy, take him out for now, like that. Then we take these, undo, pull them down, like such, pulling down the feet, around like so. We take the, these and flip them in, I thought. Maybe go around a bit, huh? I don't know. I guess like that. Anyways, but... We continue on by lifting the shoulders back up like this and then pushing this part to the back. Let me raise that up. There we go. Extend that and then flip this hinge to the back. And these are nice and tight hinges, by the way. Flip that out. We have a, looks like a panel. Oh no, that's a whole fist. Okay, I see what's going on. I never got the American one, so. Uh, flipping out like that. These can stay up to the side or stay down. Just like that. You can now stand them up. Make them look cool, I suppose. You know, sort of a pose or something. And then we take Rodside himself. Well, we can also arm him up. These are those pop-out pop things that you can use or not use. I'll show you the gimmick just for fun. Take broadside, flip him down, flip his arms back like that. Pop him in, and let's check out broadside himself. See those pop up? There we go, broadside, looking nice. So yeah, arm articulation out. We have the front to back swing. This can rotate around if it, if it helps you at all. It also has a hinge. You got the bicep swivel. You got the head on that swivel there. Plus it will do on the ball joint if you want to get more reposability. You can do that. Uh, we have the hips that go front to back and out. Like that. Oops. Like that. And then a knee bend. 
90 degrees, we have an ankle that goes down and back and forth, but no ankle tilts. We have do, do have a thigh swivel. I guess let's just go to the front. Looking at the paint and everything, little yellow dot right there. Got some yellow for a, kind of like a uh, what is that array of battery cannon. Get the paint on the sides of the arms. Going up and down. Got red plastic and red painted wings here. The rest of this is red plastic. And nice tight joints. So, all in all, a pretty cool figure. He also has um, kind of like half feet, half red. It's red paint here for the feet. So I was going to show you. And, uh, yeah, I think that's just the only part that's painted. This is the foot and this wing. For that and he's got the red paint here but it's a pretty cool figure this is by takara tommy of course so that's why it has a little extra now let's check out a pose a little action shot for you there so let me know what you think of the review leave a like if you liked the video subscribe for more toy reviews and as always stay awesome stay subbed and stay tuned for the next video peace that's wrap guys um, before I'm out, I just wanted to say that I was actually um, busy the last week. I had to get all this paperwork done, and I'm studying for my license test again because it's been more than five years, so i got to take the written and the driver's again, even though I did that when I was 16, and I just lost it, I don't know, five years ago. But So I have been busy, but I should be open for a little while, and then I'll be busy again for a couple days towards the middle of the month, through the end of the month. Anyways, leave a like. Subscribe, comment, share. Peace, guys. That's a wrap. I'm out. Hiya!